Ted Harrison is one of Canada's most popular artists. His love of the land and the people of the Yukon has brought him international acclaim. His distinctive style of painting is both colorful and sophisticated, yet he retains an innocent charm and appeals to both young and old alike. Edward Hardy Harrison was born in August 28, 1926, in the village of Wingate in County Durham, England. Ted attributes his early interest to the arts, to the encouragement and support of his parents and his grammar school teachers. He moved to Canada with his family when he was an adult and settled in the small town of Carcross in the Yukon, which is located in far northern Canada. Mr. Harrison's artwork was inspired by the turquoise, purple, orange, blue, and pink colors seen in the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, as seen in the Arctic Circle. For supplies today, you'll need plain paper, a pencil, a juicy black sharpie or black marker, and some coloring supplies, especially in the turquoise, purple, orange, blue, and pink colors of the Aurora Borealis. With your paper in the vertical fashion, smack dab in the middle of your paper, about two or three fingers in diameter, draw a circle, and then two small circles for eyes above. Draw an oval for the nose and a little polar bear mouth. Next, ghost draw a few times a large upside down U from the bottom of the paper up to the top of the bear head and back down. Draw two capital U's for arms. Add four little bear claws and some cute little bear ears. To give our bear form, we're going to add some shading using dots or dashed lines to make shadows on our white polar bear. Form is when you make a drawing look three-dimensional by adding shadows. These suggest a rounding or depth of your shape. Here's a reminder of Ted Harrison's artwork as our inspiration. Now for the background. We're going to draw a horizon line horizontally behind your bear, about three or four fingers from the bottom of your page. Try ghost drawing first and then add some hills and mountains behind your bear. Make sure you skip over Mr. or Ms. Bear. Next, you can choose whether you want to draw a sun or a moon, and you can have them either peeking out over the mountains, high up in the sky, or off to the side, you choose. Now think of those swirling northern lights, how they dance in the sky. How would you draw them? We're going to add some swirling, curvy, and straight lines to your sky. Now to color in that background using big blocks of color inspired by Ted Harrison. We're going to be using turquoise, purple, blue, orange, pink, those colors. Now I've chosen to do my mountains and hills in cool colors and my sky in warm colors, but you can choose how you'd like to color in your big blocks of color.
Now, if I were to put on my future glasses, your artwork might look something like this. I can't wait to see what you come up with.